Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today I have a quite exciting video because you guys know that I love to shop on a budget for clothing while I also like to do that with my makeup. So today I decided to do this look, which is basically like an everyday full face makeup look, but I'm going to be using all drugstore products. So very affordable makeup that you can find at your local drugstore, Walmart, Shoppers, you get the point. So it's going to be super affordable. And if you wanna see how I got this look, just keep watching because I'm going to show you exactly how I achieved this full face drugstore makeup look. using these Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. One is 120 Classic Ivory, and the other one is 220 Natural Beige. So let's just pump them on my hand, give them a mix, and apply right to my face. So remembering to get your neck area as well, just lightly, you don't have to put a fresh pump of foundation or anything. Just go with the leftover foundation on your brush and just drag it down to your neck a bit to make sure everything is blended. Okay, so foundation is done. There is this Hard Candy Color Corrector Cushion Wonder. This is a more orangey tone. So I'm gonna just put this on first and conceal a bit with this, my under eye area. Then I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender and just dab that in. I just go all over my lids, almost like a primer too. Next, I'm going to try out this Maybelline New York in 20 Sand. This is just a concealer. I'm gonna conceal my under eyes right here. I always do foundation first and then concealer after. You just wanna get any areas that you wanna conceal. Maybe let's run it down the nose a bit too, why not? And then as well, Infallible Pro Glow. It is in the color Coco 08. So I'm just gonna be using this as sort of a liquid contour. Just a touch, we don't have to go crazy with the liquid contour. A little bit down my nose. I look like a Picasso painting or something. <laughs> So with this different beauty blender, I'm just gonna work that in a bit. And I'm just gonna go over this with my beauty blender again, dabbing that in. Sometimes with the access, I just go right here underneath to sort of carve out your cheekbones a bit. The base of the face is pretty much done. Let's go with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I'm just gonna quickly set my under eyes a bit with this. Go around my nose a bit too, why not? Down the center, okay. Before we go in with the dark part of this contour, I'm just gonna jump in with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Long Wear Powder. So I'm gonna go in with my brush here, dab it a bit, then just put a bit all over my face, slightly down the neck. Maybe I'll take a bit of this and put it underneath my eyes as well. So we managed to conceal and correct everything. So we're basically starting with a blank canvas. Now we can go in with our contour palette once again, but this time using the darker shade. Now we will just take our brush and see, just line your cheekbones just a bit. By the way guys, if you hear some boiling in the background, it's probably because my sister's making a soup. <laughs> so don't mind that noise. But again, we're just going to carve out these cheekbones with a bit of our contour here. I'm just going to be contouring my nose with this dark color. Just lightly. Then with the light color, just right down the center. Then you could sort of blend it in a bit. And what I like to do is I like to go in again with this powder brush and just blend in that contour. Okay, take off a little bit of the excess powder from our brows. Next, I am just going to do my brows and actually I'm going to do them in a new way. Lately, I've been using these Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gels. They come like this with an applicator brush, but I don't use them with that brush because for me, it's a little bit too difficult. What I do use, you just wanna take a tiny thin brush, even a brush that you might use for your eyeliner and you actually want to take a bit of this. So I just take what's on the access. Just a little bit of the product. 
and then I'll brush my eyebrows in like this. This is in 260 Deep Brown. The whole thing with this is that it is supposed to be, since it's called Tattoo Studio, I think it's supposed to last like 48 hours on your brows. I don't necessarily find that it does last because I remove my makeup pretty well at night with face oils and things like that so obviously it will come off but I feel like it is waterproof and it is smudge proof which is nice so it really sets in place and it doesn't seem to go anywhere unlike a, let's say a brow powder that you were to use. So let's just do the outer corners of both brows first and then I'll come back and show you how I just do the front part with this lighter color this is 255 soft brown so I'm gonna clean my brush a tiny bit same thing applies so I get a bit of product on the brush this is a lighter color so I find it works best for the front part and then we're just gonna softly pat that in and we're going to be brushing them through in a second just to make them look even more natural but like I said this product stays so you won't be brushing out much I'm just gonna take a spoolie and just brush them out a bit just to give it that softer look. I had a tip in my last video that sometimes what I do is I take my face powder and I dip my spoolie in and I brush it through as well to make it look a bit lighter and natural. I might even show you. So you just take a bit of this powder and just brush it through lightly. It just helps give it that more natural look because naturally the front of our brows can be a bit sparse. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. This is a NYX Lid Lingerie. It's a shadow palette. These are all matte shades. So I'm gonna be going in with a bit of a fluffier brush and I think I will start with this almost peachy color right now. Almost like a transition shade really on my lids. I'm not gonna go too heavy with the eyeshadow today so we don't have to worry about so much fallout. Okay, so I just packed that on the lids a bit. You can hardly tell the difference. Of course, a blending brush is the most important tool you can have when you're doing your eyeshadow. We're just gonna be blending every step of the way, even if it doesn't look like we need it. With a smaller brush, I'm just going to go in with maybe this nice orangey shade. I'm a sucker for warm colors, and I don't know if that will ever change, but it's just what I'm comfortable using, and I feel like they are my favorite colors to work with, and they are very forgiving. Just right in the crease. This darker brown color from the palette. Same brush, I'm too lazy to change my brush up. Just again, right in the crease area, but just focusing on the outer crease. Blending, blending. I'm going in with this very metallic palette. This is the Burgundy Bar by Maybelline. And I think in one of the lighter shades, I'm just going to pack that on my lid with actually my finger. I find that when working with metallic-y shades, your finger is almost your best tool. I'm just gonna lightly pack that in. Okay, just blending it out a bit. I'm going for just a very soft, neutral eye look today. I'm gonna get this tiny little brush. I'm just gonna go in my inner corner and my brow bone. My shadow's basically done. I'm just gonna brush off a bit of the excess. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, so I'm going in with this one in black, and as well, I'm going to be going over it with this Essence. I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara as well. Both drugstore products and both really good. So I'm just gonna be using both today. You always wanna start at the base and then work your way through. Basically putting the most product on the base and then working it up. While it's still wet, I'm just gonna be taking this Essence Mascara and brushing this right through as well just for some extra drama because I will not be using a fake lashes. <laughs> Next eyelash, going in with the telescopic. Okay, so mascara is done. This Line Stiletto by Maybelline is my favorite liner. It is Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And I feel like this brush is a brush that I'm so comfortable using. So I'm just gonna lightly line my eyes. So my liner is going to be focused primarily on the outer corners, nothing too heavy, just a little bit of eyeliner. It was very easy to do, it literally took not even a minute to do both eyes, which is why I love that product, so that is actually a really great drugstore product for eyeliner. Just going in with this telescopic again to do the mascara on my lower lashes. Let's just go back in with this lid lingerie. Let's grab this color and just lightly 
line our lower lid with a bit of color. And now to make us look even more awake, I'm going to go in with the Essence Eye Pencil. It is in the color Cocoa Bean and it is waterproof. There we go, so the eyes are basically done. I have this Ultra Bronze by Makeup Revolution. It's going to lightly frame our face in a bit of bronzer. Work it a bit under here. I didn't contour under here at all, so I'm just making up for that with a bit of bronzer. I have two blushes to show you guys. One is this NYX Professional Makeup Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I think I will do this color right here. This is sort of the look I'm going for. I might actually just mix these two colors together. Tap off a bit of the excess. So with focus on the apples of our cheeks, we're just gonna be putting a bit of blush. Now with this Milani Baked Blush in Rose Doro, that actually means a rose gold in Italian. Doro means gold. So we're just going to pat that in. I like this one because it is a bit shimmery. This is one of my favorite blushes, drugstore or otherwise. It just is such a nice color. I love that. And now I'm just going to go in again with my face brush to just blend everything in and not have our blush look too harsh by any means. You just want everything to be blended. So much like I'm always blending my eyes, I also like to blend out my face. I think I'm gonna go in with this nice golden highlight shade. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. And this is in the color Molten Gold 100. So let's see how this looks on my face today. I think this would look even nicer if I was a little bit more tan. Wow. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love it. I actually really like this highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna just be putting a little bit in the center of my nose, maybe a little bit over the brow bone, a touch on your chin. Just work it in my eye corner right here, the inner corner. And even just a touch on the brow bone, why not? Wow, I have to admit this was the one product that I borrowed from my sister because I was saying, give me like a new drugstore highlighter. She's like the highlighter queen, so she let me borrow this and this is kind of like my first impression. And honestly, I'm gonna have to go pick up one of these myself because I love it. So this was a really nice drugstore product. We're only missing one thing and that is lips. So I'm just gonna quickly go in with one of my favorite lip liners. It is the Essence Lip Liner in 05 Soft Berry. Sometimes it doesn't really even matter the color that I choose. I just like to use a lip liner that is similar to the color of my lips as it is, but obviously darker. So we're just gonna line our lips. Bottom, now we'll do the top. Okay, then sometimes what I do is I just line my lips like this. Makes them look a bit more plump. I love these liners because they're so smooth and creamy and I cannot skip a lip liner. Now I'm going to go in with this Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline in the color Poet, 60 Poet. So this is a lighter color, so let's see how this looks. Oh wow, I love this look together. I never tried this with this lip liner and I actually really like it. I'm just noticing how crazy my hair looks because <laughs> I got out of the shower and it literally has been drying on camera. So you even want to go slightly over your lip liner to just blend that all in. You don't want any harsh lip liner lines. I'm basically done putting the makeup on my face. I'm just going to be fixing my hair up and changing my outfit and I will be right back to show you the finished look. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you love it as much as I do. I really like how this look came out. I feel like this is sort of a full face, but also a look that you can get away with even every day. And the best part is, is that these are all drugstore products. So if you guys like this makeup look and would like to see more looks like this, let me know if you're liking these videos by giving me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Every subscriber means so much to me and it keeps me motivated to making great videos. So again, guys, thank you so much and I hope I made it pretty easy to follow along on how I achieved this look. I'll be listing all of these products down in the description bar below, so don't forget to check that out as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.